checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lightsaber back with another video guys and I wanted to make this video second video on Zen today because people are asking me whether they should be farming into Zen, whether they should only mint Zen, whether it's a good idea or not, everybody's got an opinion but just before I get into it, it's not financial advice, don't risk more than what you can afford to lose, do your own research, okay guys, so the price of Zen is pumping, it's actually moved up since I last spoke about it just a few hours ago as well, I said that we're going to kill a zero at some point today on zen okay guys it doesn't need to go up very much literally not even 20 percent at the time of recording this video and we will kill a zero now is it a good time to be buying zen in my opinion i think the best thing to do just like i said in a bunch of other videos is to mint zen for free and buy some um and hold zen okay guys or do you just put nothing in and wait for it to pull back the risk of waiting for it to pull back is it may never pull back okay guys what i did um is i waited for it to pull back yesterday okay and i didn't get my pullback i didn't get my pullback and the market left me behind i ended up buying uh, buying some more zen a little bit higher and that is the risk that you face when you're waiting for a pullback so you have to decide whether you're going to wait for a pullback or whether you're going to average in let's say you got a thousand dollars you might decide to put two hundred dollars now if it pulls back more you put two hundred dollars again if it pulls back all the way to support you put another two hundred dollars three hundred dollars whatever and you dollar cost average in until your one thousand dollars is in and by the time it starts going back up you will quickly find yourself in a profit because you've averaged in you've dc aid so i always recommend going over to the website and mean in some zen why because it's free, this is not financial advice. I can recommend this with full confidence that you mint some Zen for free. It costs nothing. It's literally gas. Some people are still don't know how to mint Zen. There is a bunch of videos. I'm sure there's a bunch of videos on Zen, okay, on how to mint. I've actually been minting Zen from the very first day. I sometimes forget the fact that people uh, are new to crypto and they don't know how to do this. They don't know how to... Um, use Uniswap or you know inter interact with in DeFi, right? It's literally you just come over to the website. The, uh, when you come to the mint page, there will be a button that you can click claim or rent. Uh, sorry, it's claim your C uh, claim your C rank and then you mint. Then it literally just costs you gas. So you need some Ethereum in your wallet to pay for your gas fees if you're minting on the Ethereum blockchain. Now there are a bunch of chains that you can mint on. Me personally, I am minting on most of these chains, to be honest, most of them. But the most profitable, the most bullish one, in my opinion, is the Ethereum one. People are quickly beginning to realize that. Why Ethereum? Because that's where the whales are. If, if you don't know and you weren't there from the beginning, the first Zen that came into existence, the first chain that you could mint Zen on was, drumroll, the Ethereum network. Okay, guys, so this is the main network it makes sense it took a load uh, it, it put a lot of pressure sorry it put a lot of pressure on the ethereum network it was that bullish everyone was going crazy minting zen okay guys uh but you know this is the main network in my opinion that you want to be minting zen on okay and the other chains once you've done once you've minted on ethereum then i recommend going over to the other chains the gas fees are a lot cheaper but there is much more demand on the ethereum network okay um another thing that we'll talk about right is uh you know uh, fomo right so you don't want to fomo in obviously okay you don't want to fomo in which is why i do recommend dollar cost averaging in okay guys but it's always good to kind of get your stake in there in, in my opinion and have some tokens at least you've got some tokens okay guys because if you believe that it's going to go higher in the long term you want to be holding some tokens right but the problem is, is that people don't want to buy Zen. They didn't want to buy it when it was down here, when it was down here, when it was down here, when it was down here. They want to buy it up here. That's just the nature of crypto, the nature of FOMO. Okay, guys, there's a token called PIP, which I've been talking about on the channel. I do recognize that a lot of you are new to the channel, so you probably don't know about this token. I've been talking about buying this token. Okay, guys, and you can see there is on a staircase right it's, it's going up it's in an uptrend right and this hasn't gone wild yet this hasn't gone wild okay but as much as i tell people about this token pip 
right? Pip, we're going to look at some of the fundamentals on this. Why I think it's bullish, right? It's sitting at 18 million market cap. Zen is sitting right now at 70, 74 million in market cap. So Pip, for example, right, is, is not pumped yet. We're on a four hour chart right now. It's not pumped yet. But people don't want to buy it now. They will start wanting to buy it when it's already gone absolutely crazy. Okay, guys, this is what you want to be doing. You want to be finding altcoins with good fundamentals and you want to be buying them when they're cheap, when they're cheap. And then by the time they start pumping and everyone starts following in, the only problem that you have is when do I take some of these profits? Okay, guys, so this one, I'll leave the link in the description. This one is super bullish. Now, I'll just give you a quick overview just in case you don't know uh, what this is because you haven't been following the channel this was invested in by coinbase incubated by binance labs this is a social payment this you can actually send payments send and receive payments on twitter right now i know a lot of uh these low cap not very well known altcoins like to put stuff like this coinbase binance on their website and it's not actually legit if you go over to coinbase ventures right and you type in pip you will see that this is legit this is an under the radar altcoin that not many people know about right and you can be buying it right now for 18 million market cap okay 18 million market cap zen i was talking about zen when it was 7 million market cap okay 7 million market cap right people didn't want to buy it this is 18 million market cap okay and by the time this gets to zen's market cap for example 74 million you're going to be up a free x a free x you can then take profits if you would like to and roll that over into something like zen which i'm more bullish on okay guys i've been holding this for a while now and i'm super bullish on this token but i'm more bullish on zen so if this goes absolutely crazy i'm going to be able to take some profits hold a moon back and then roll some of those profits over into something like zen at that point it won't really matter what price i buy it as well because i'm taking profits from another altcoin okay guys now everyone's got their own strategies in crypto okay and this is just some of the secrets that or some of these strategies should i say that i use in order to get ahead in crypto okay guys now this looks like it might be coming back down but like i said before i thought it was coming down over here i waited and i i had to buy it a little bit higher after it had broken out although i still make i'm still making a profit i could have made a better entry i could have got a better profit if i would have just bought okay guys or if i would have started averaging in okay and this is crypto nobody's perfect you're never going to exactly time the bottom you're not going to time the top when it comes to selling but I, I don't know how many more times i need to say that this is bullish for the bull run this is a long-term hold in my opinion okay guys what looks like it might be a pump or the pump is over sometimes really isn't sometimes and they just go absolutely crazy look at the ascending volume look at this accumulation the longer the accumulation the more bigger the run this is breaking resistance levels it hasn't really gone absolutely crazy yet when you zoom out and that's thing you want one thing that you've got to do you got to learn to zoom out on these charts okay i know a bullish chart when i see one that's why when i see a chart like this i buy it and i hold it right one thing that i didn't talk about okay is the x1 chain i did talk about it in another video but i talked about these zen knights earlier okay but the thing with these zen knights what, which i didn't really understand is that a lot of people are probably following in they're buying zen you have to uh, you have to buy these ordinals these bitcoin ordinals the zen knights with zen that zen then gets burnt those people that burn their Bitcoin ordinals, as far as I'm aware, will also be eligible for an X1 blockchain for the XN token, right? So you've got the X1 DevNet, as you can see right here, right? The X1 DevNet will soon become the X1 mainnet once they launch the mainnet for the blockchain. And uh, there will be a token for that, XN. And those that burn these, as far as I'm aware, will get a airdrop for the XN token so that's going to be a highly sought after token and um, why the price of zen could just go absolutely crazy and just continue pumping is because of the deflation and the demand okay the deflation from all the burning burning from db zen burning from the nfts zen nfts bitcoin ordinals and the demand because people want to own some of these tokens and in order to burn it you've got to be able to buy it okay guys so I just wanted to make this video and um, you're going to have to make up your own mind as to whether it's a good place to buy because I can't give you financial advice. All I know 
is that it's very risky not to have any Zen, just like I said in previous videos, in my opinion. And it's just my opinion. So you do what you want with it, like it or leave it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you want to see more Zen content, you've got to subscribe. Okay, guys. So uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. And I'll see you in the very next one.